this 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 is 99.5 wish fm this 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 9.5 wish fm this 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 9.5 wish fm let's talk about uh, uh drug abuse uh pretty quickly um because we have a, a few guests here in the studio the international day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking is around the corner um john best is here uh john best has a passion and that passion is uh being carried out through a non not for profit organization called right minds leaders network i think the first day we met or second day we met was when you invited me for your program john best was uh, our first uh, project, the End to Depression campaign in 2019 when we launched that T- Today you're not reporting. <laughs> no. So tell us about Right Minds Leaders Network. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Right Minds Leaders Network is a leadership and uh, social advocacy, not-profit uh, organization of like-minded young adults who crave for impact positive impact at that with passion actually yeah you you, you work with young adults right? yes yes right, interesting uh, the international day against drug abuse and illicit drug trafficking is a very important um and day when is this day it's 26th 26th that is a uh, saturday uh international day against uh, drug abuse and illicit trafficking all right it was actually it started uh, uh june yeah june 1989 June 1989. Yeah, by United Nations Office on Drug uh, and Crimes. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Um, So this was, this is probably put together to try and um, educate people on the harmful effects of of yes. drug abuse as as a social advocacy and uh, non-for-profit uh, organization uh, this is part of our activities mm. in helping uh, this uh, this society you know uh, trying to uh, let people know about uh, uh the is- the effects of this uh, stuff called uh, drugs you know and, and, and so, so i mean um and we have apart from john best uche um pharmacist mrs ibirim did i get it right shiamaka Good morning to you. I want you to say good morning to my listeners out there. Good morning, everyone. All right, all right. Nice to have you here. Um, we also have pharmacist Joseph Ibirim. All right, good morning. Kofi, good morning, Potakot. Our listeners will be asking, they have the same name. Uh-huh. Uh, no, you, you have said on mic. Yeah. All right, of course, that's my wife. Uh, amazing. And they are also, all, they are all, they are all, uh, pharmacists. Right, <laughs> pharmacists, <laughs> right <laughs> minds, you know, interesting. Members, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And we also have, um, here as well, um, Comfort Alexander, who is also a right minds member. Comfort, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. All right. Good all morning, right. Port Harcourt. Good, Good morning, morning, morning everyone sitting in here. Let me go to pharmacist. You, you mentioned we've, we've met at UPTH before. It plays the most we come by. You have to shift closer to John. Uh, it's also called my second home. Um, this thing called drug abuse. I've had cause to talk with, I mean, one of these days we talked about international drug abuse and all that. We have interviewed with some of the doctors and, uh, people who work in the, in the, uh, psychiatric department. Neuropsychiatric. Neuropsychiatric yeah. department. And, and each time I get very shocking and sad stories. How bad is it? Very terrible. You are even very terrible. If there is any word um, that is um, usable, that, is, that can express how bad it is, you may want to help me with that. But it's more than very terrible. It was even, it gets worse every day, you know. And um, But then give kudos to the new NDLEA boss and um, various agencies, of course, like um, groups like Right Minds Network, from a school society of Nigeria, everyone who is fighting, kudos to them. But the situation is bad and it's getting worse. And you can understand why. Mm. The situation of things in the country is also worsening it. Okay. Pharmacist Joseph Ibirim is the Secretary of the Drug and Substance Abuse Reduction Committee of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, Riverside Branch. Why do you say it's terrible? Or more than terrible? For want of a better word. It's more than terrible because you can... Thai, just like um, Brigadier General Mawa, the new NDLA boss, said, you can just tie the high, the speed of violence, restiveness, crime, to drugs. How? What? Give us a, a sense of 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 the situation now. Right now, 
Uh, okay, just um, was it yesterday that we, we saw a, a picture? Uh, because we always get um, NDLA reports. In fact, the NDLA today is more active on social media, giving us reports of their successes. You saw a picture of um, a, a doctor, well, someone who says she's a doctor, because it's, um, it's not something we commonly find amongst um, healthcare workers. But someone who says she's a doctor selling cookies laden with drugs. And um, it's not one, it's not two. There have been so many reports of, if I say regular trade. It's, it's a normal thing now. Uh-huh. Everywhere. So, everywhere. I see no, it everywhere. You go on Instagram, you'd see... Beautiful. You'd see, and, and young people are going through. But, but I mean, let's talk about the effect. Because it's, it's, it's something that I think our authorities are, are a bit late to the party. Mm-hmm. Uh, a bit late to the party. I was, I was, I was surprised when I saw in Abuja, they, they got people who sell cookies and cakes. And then, drugs. Um, brownies. I mean, it's something it, that anybody can easily just innocently eat in a party or even at home. But people are popping pills on social media, smoking and brandishing, smoking a weed. Yeah. You see entertainers, you so, know, so, a whole lot. So our, our our officials are late to the party. But let's look at the effect. Yes. How bad is it? Once again, very terrible. Because yeah. this is something that okay. gives you a lifelong journey of hard work. Now, oh, really? I, di- I didn't say really? a lifelong hopeless journey, but I said a lifelong journey of hard work because the mo- the fact that you... It, first, first of all, you know, it affects the way you think, mm-hmm. the way you perceive things, and the way you reason. So, um, it, it affects the way you feel, the way you pre- process information, and even your actions. Now, the journey to break free from addiction... Is a lifelong journey because you can be helped. You can get help to break free from ad- addiction, and maybe after ten years you relapse. So addiction it in itself. Worse, worse so than you it can. Was Im- before. Sorry, it could be worse than it was before. Oh yes, it could be worse than it was before. But with proper therapy and management, you can lead normal life. Okay. But yeah. relapse is a part of the game. It's so you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, so so. Um, then I, I spoke to a, a, a neuropsychiatrist who was saying, uh, oh, just come to, uh, to our department here in, in the teaching hospital. You see youngsters who are down, down with, I said, okay, Marijuana. He said, Marijuana is even little. He was saying that something you have down with all sorts of drugs like cocaine, mm-hmm. you know, uh, all sorts of uh, uh, exotic pills, you know, cocktails or and, pills. And even unconventional ones because, you know, you have mixtures. When you start hearing names like, um, I don't know if I'm, I'm allowed to share them, you hear so. things like Colorado, Loud, <laughs> um, Eyes. Ba- Baba Blue. Baba Blue, um, es- es- Escravato. Aye, there's, so, there's so many names. Yeah. SK <laughs> is even nice. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you hear these things, um, you can imagine. I had... I was with my wife and my sister-in-law, who is also a pharmacist, when we were, you know, having a chat with someone who is trying to, who is, you know, withdrawing from drugs. The guy schooled us. Hmm. He rendered our um, first degree in pharmacy um, obsolete <laughs> with information you. about drugs. In fact, he told us at some point that um, if he walks out of the street now, he's going to tell us those who use drugs around the vicinity. So I was wondering whether there is a chip that mm-hmm. those who use drugs mm-hmm. have, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's and they're getting younger. It's it's we, we've done a lot of work, you know, on drug abuse and you know, in terms of advocacy, we are going to be very active this weekend, you know. Now you find that in primary schools, children share pills, drugs, trauma, dog. Sorry, you understand? In primary schools. In primary schools. Um, primary schools. Yes, and let us also remember that when we talk about drug abuse, primary schools. Oh yes, primary schools. I repeat, in, primary in, in, in New York City. No, in Federal Republic of Nigeria, primary schools. Primary schools. They share trauma, though. <laughs> yes, they they share it. Now, not that the school shares it to the pupils, but you find children who share these things to their friends. But let us. Can you pinch me? Because I'm. I'm I you're, you're trying to get to terms with it, right? No, but let us also state categorically clear here that alcohol is also part of drug abuse. So for mothers and fathers who give their children alcohol when they are very small, they're saying that let their head be so that their head will be strong. You're only increasing the chances of your child abusing drugs in the future. Because they look and for even, something stronger. You know, already you, the brain is in a formative stage. Mm. So you're already getting, you're stimulating the brain 
to get used to certain things. Mm. And with time, the brain begins to crave for those things because it appeals to its reward center. There is a part of the brain that gives you pleasure. When you eat, when you, um, you know, for couples who when you have sex, you know, that part of the brain that gives pleasure is stimulated by use of drugs as well. So you want it to yes. satisfy. And the, and the funny get thing is that it actually gives you 10 times or even more pleasure than even the sex and food that you eat. So you can imagine what drugs do to the brain. And there are physical changes that occur as a result of addiction. So it's not just that, oh, it's a thing of your moral will. Mm. There are physical changes. And when people begin to use drugs, at the very young age, when the brain is still developing, the brain develops according to and depends on the drug. So the journey to withdrawal becomes even more difficult for those children who were introduced to drug use at a very early stage. We will need to look for one day. To have a full discussion on this. Let me come to uh, 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 John. Um, John Best Uche is the founder of Right Minds Leaders Network. Um, but before I go, to, I, I mean, I have had cause to um, intervene in one or two. I know doctors and pharmacists and all that. You have young people you're helping some of them to go off. They have to go for their injections so they can flush their system or something. And then one of the traits I've seen, even in girls, young girls, students, who call and ask for money and they're asking for that money desperately sometimes you know and i would say young man where where are you using the money for and so i've i've had to develop that um that uh that ability to to tell when someone is asking money desperately desperately it's now you know and i've i've, I've seen it in young boys i've seen it in girls but then when the doctor told me that if I come to the nearest psychiatry, sorry, I don't want to be uh, infringing on people's privacy, privacy, but I would say a lot of youngsters, kids, 18, 16, 19. Then if we hear drug abuse, people who are in uh, psychiatric center trying to get better, we think of people who are in their 30s. It's, a, it's an issue. It breaks my heart. Uh, if you want to hear stories, just get an, a boat driver. Yeah. A boat driver. Yeah. Enter the boat. Then to tell you about drug abuse. Yes, yes. He'll tell you. He, in fact, the one that breaks my heart in most times is that the young girls are uh, becoming more, uh, beating the young men at it. Okay. it, it you know, young girls are beating the, the, the men. In fact, the men now are in danger. Sorry, like, sorry. I don't to mean to be general. Um, um, John, tell us about the, the program. Okay, so uh, the program, uh, the uh, commemoration of International Day Against the Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking of Right Minds Leaders Network is done in conjunction with the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, River State Command, uh, and uh, Port Harcourt University Medical Students uh, Asso uh, Association, PUMSA, uh, even with some other uh, uh, organizations like that. We have the MAYIN, that is um, uh, the uh, Mentorship and uh, mentorship uh, assistance for youth and entrepreneurship initiative. Okay. They are replicating so, it there uh, so in, in Ibadan and all of that. Where, 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 where is it happening? It's, it's going to happen uh, beginning from uh, government girls' secondary school. So this is a walk against it's a, it's a walk, drug abuse. It's a walk and sensitization, right. but right. taking a walk for a drug-free society. Right. It pained my heart some time ago, a few days or weeks ago, I saw a young man in uh, a inside the transformer house, you mm. know, urinating. And see that young man urinating and sleeping inside sleeping. the transformer house. And inside it, the transformer house? Yes. Okay, we, we, we have to Why? Go. Because he was something he must have taken. taken. And and I was like, who? So, so who, who are those who should be part of this? this okay, anybody and anybody who is concerned about uh, the effects of this drug abuse should be part of this. Mm. By that, I mean if you're concerned in the sense that uh, you're not comfortable with what is happening in our society. Ages, this thing, yeah. Right. So, uh, so this work is starting where? Society should be part of it. Young people, old and all of that because it cuts across everyone. Okay. So yeah. we're so gathering at government girls' secondary government, school. Uh, uh, gathering at uh, government girls' uh, secondary school. On Saturday, Mokuta, then the 26th. Through, uh, NTA, where we'll have our final uh, talk. Mm -hmm. Yes, the state commander, NDLA, will be there with his uh, team with these officers. Uh, we're looking at even having a FRSCN because of uh, 
At the end of the day, we'll be having that. Yeah, Recep will be there with us. Peace Corps will be there so with the us. So the termination uh, point is NTA. NTA will be having a short talk. I'll meet you guys. We'll be sharing. NTA. We'll be sh- we'll be glad to have you. We'll be sharing handbills containing uh, information. information. You know, talk, on, this uh, on this year's theme talks about share facts on drugs and save lives. You know, oh. share facts on drugs and save lives. So, we'll have so some information. Le- in handbills le- that we'll be sharing. Let's to, all join uh, these members. Yeah. Let's all join the the, the right minds leaders uh, uh, leaders network to say no to drug okay. abuse and uh, illicit trafficking. Traffic. Revelation, Ohio. Let's say no to drug abuse and illicit trafficking. Yes. I'm not saying that because, Let's no, that. you are a man of God, so I know you don't have anything on you. <laughs> but 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 we will join the Right Minds uh, uh, Leaders Network. Right, right. Uh, all our guests here um, to, to say no. And this will be on Saturday. 8 a.m. we'll meet at Government Girls School, sure. Mokuta. We're going to march on NTA Road yes, all right. the way to NTA Compound. Yes, there'll be vehicle vans, yes, music yes. going on, and everything nice, mm, you know, mm, entertainment, mm. yeah. And let's it's going to be fun walk up. This, this is a big issue. Yes. yes. And so we have yes. to have a review yes. after now. A one-hour full talk about this thing, yeah? We'll be glad I, to. I feel some revelation. He said he saw a young man in a transformer house. Yes, urinating. Urinating. And sleeping. Someone and sleeping. Had to transformer. To tap him. You know, and I was wondering. That one, waiting in Technobi here. Oh. It's a problem. They, you know, when I was a kid, we used to, I remember one of our elder brothers then, climbed the electric pole. They had to beg him to come down. His mom came, was crying. <laughs> he wanted to climb the pole. He wanted Same to enter thing. the wire. We were begging him. Well, there's a particular drug that takes one near electricity. I don't know. <laughs> just, this what, one, this what, one. what of the guy who cut off his um, testicles and put it? What of the guy who cut off his te- testicles um, and put them inside the, um, toilet, the WC and flushed it? Wow. He, he caught it. Yes, he was even in detention. After killing his mother, his father, and then he was trying to kill his mom. So they apprehended him, took him and detained him. And while he was there, he lay held on a um, uh, razor blade Resume. and then cut off his own testicle Chai. and put it in the toilet. And of course, as a civilized Nigerian, he Plus flushed it. it. Oh, so um, who smoked better? <laughs> Don't be small thing. That one should, should be. It's ready, ready. My, 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 my. It's heartbreaking. The mere fact that it affects the way you feel, think, and act is the reason you must avoid drug abuse. Because mm-hmm. when when that thing you lose it, you can't control it back. Not at all. If there's no one to control you, or help you, you are gone. I think that's the much reason why, why we have some NGOs okay. partnering with us, like the Ready Read Initiative, mm-hmm. Ready Read Initiative, Mayen, and all of them. Okay. They're partnering to make it happen as well. And we are very grateful to the management and team of. Uh, uh, well, you know. but, yeah. So I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, follow this day. Okay, we'll, we'll be there. All right. Say no to drugs. <laughs> no to drug abuse. No to drugs. Thank you, John Best. Uh, thank you, uh, Chef uh, pharmacist Mrs. Ibrahim Chiamaka, and of course, uh, pharmacist Joseph Oibirim. Um, Comfort Alexander. Just say one sentence before we go. One sentence. Say something. Okay. I hope to see you there anyway because you're going to be sharing some facts about drugs and you're going to be saving lives. Particularly, I'll be dealing on the mental part of drug abuse and how it affects your mind. See you there. Thank you. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you all for your time. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, not today. God bless you. Good morning. The Catalyst. This, 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 this,